Kelly here. Uh, today I'm going to share with you um, some tips about making a simple note card that you can make in bulk, but then show you how to change it up so that you can make different kinds of versions of it if you wanted to get a little bit more fancy. So I'm just starting off with a really um, small note card. This is a 4x4 four four piece of craft, um, or I guess it's an 8x4 piece of craft cardstock folded in half, and then I put a white panel on the front as well to give us a neutral um, base. And this whole card that I'm making first up is going to be quite neutral so that you could give it for um, you know men or women girls and boys and whatever it's a little thank you card so I'm mixing and matching a few stamp sets uh, together to create it to create it so um, the first little image that I'm going to stamp is from the bloom set and it's uh, these little flowers here or this row of flowers which I think um, is really versatile and really super cute and what I've been doing is using it a lot for like the border um, down the bottom of um, my cards rather than necessarily using it how it's sort of uh, designed to do and I'll show you how I make that happen in a while and my goodness I clearly need to re-ink up my ink pad or get a new one um, I tend to use stays on ink a lot just because it's waterproof and, um, you know, I, I never quite know if I'm going to add watercolors to this or some other kind of wet um, medium. So I tend to stick with the stays on um, just in case. Although, to be honest, on this occasion, I'm not going to be coloring it. So I could use a stamp pad that's actually got ink on it. Anyway, I'm just going to set that aside for a second because the next little one that I want to stamp um, is the little mouse from the new release set uh, schoolhouse and I've got this little mouse up here uh, so I just need to get him off and he is very very cute once again just inking him up He's wet first time. Excellent. So I'm going to die cut those two pieces out um, because both of these sets come with the matching dies. And I always find it easiest, like I don't have, you can get magnetic plates for your die cutting machine, or at least I know there's one for the Sizzix Big Shot, um, but I don't have it. So I tend to always just stick on my dies with washi because I know that they you know it will come off easy and not sort of rip the paper and here is my big shot so I'm just quickly going to cut these ones out And I do tend to go back and forth a bit just to make sure they are cut out nicely. But how cute. So those are the pieces that I needed to cut out. Uh, only because I've cheated and I've already stamped and cut out um, these little thank you notes. Now this is from a different stamp set again. Um, this is from a much older release. It's called Square Thoughts. And it's got this sort of little speech bubble and then lots of different options of things you can put in it. And again, it comes with the matching dies. So I've cut out this one already. Um, now, as I said, I tend to use this piece as um, a border. So what I'm going to do is cut it off flat on the bottom just by cutting off those little swirly bits which yes is a bit of a shame in some regards but then it will sit flat on the bottom of my card and I'm just going to stick that on with some double-sided tape down the bottom I'm going to stick the speech bubble in the top corner like this and then my little mouse Um, like he's standing in this garden and he's the one that's saying thank you 
And that's it, like this is my basic card um, because you know if you are going to be making cards in bulk then of course you want to be keeping it fairly simple and straightforward and so you could do each of these individual pieces multiple times um, as you go and then assemble all the cards at the end. But if you wanted to get a little bit more fancy then I'll show you some different versions that I've done with the same design but just um, changing it up a bit. So. For this one, I have um, added, uh, you know, the Bloom set, of course, also came with uh, these extra flowers that you can then die cut, and I've just popped them up, and I've popped them on some foam tape so that they're dimensional, and I've popped this one up on foam tape as well. Then the next one I did was to add color to everything. So I've added some colors to all the flowers down here. I've um, colored in my mouse. And if you can just make out a bit of shading in the thank you bubble as well. This one I've added um, my little, oh, that one's loose, row of sequins down the bottom, um, which is, you know, if you've seen any of my creations lately, I've been doing this a, little, a bit. So I added that. Uh, then I've created, uh, like, I call this one my daytime and my nighttime versions. So here I've added some extra clouds from another Neat and Tangled stamp set and I've popped them up um, and splattered some sunshiny drops in the background. And then this one I've um, used black cardstock as the base and popped some stars on top as well. Another thing you could try is to stencil the background, so to add some different colors to the background. So I use this rice paddy stencil from the last release because I think that adds a lovely sort of windy kind of sky look as well. And then of course what you could do is to use pattern paper um, as your background as well. And like usual, I tend to add little embellishments, um, enamel dots and bling and, and all of those sorts of things. So here um, are lots of different versions of the same card just to show you how you can vary it up um, but it all starts with a very simple idea and then you can let your imagination run wild or you can just stick with the same design to make it nice and easy for yourself and of course um, I've got lots of use for lots of thank you cards at the moment so hence why I'm making them um, in bulk but it does satisfy my creative urge to make them a little bit different each time and all of these ideas are really simple and easy so you can uh, mix it up if you'd like to. Alright, I hope that that's inspired you today and I'll see you again next time. Bye.